In this video, I will explain to you about computerized spirometer. This is laptop in which computerized spirometry software is installed. This is a mouthpiece which is attached by a cord to the laptop. When we start doing computerized spirometry, first is a information form in which we need to fill the certain data of the patient like registration id of the patient patient name age of the patient then weight of the patient then gender of the patient then height of the patient in centimeters it is done at room temperature and position of the patient should be mentioned whether it is a sitting position or supine position and whether the person is a smoker or non-smoker that data needs to be entered once you fill the data then this way you will get a display this is for the forced vital capacity in one side of the chart you will get the graph where on y axis a flow will be shown in liters per second and on x axis volume will be shown in liters in the another graph you will find on y axis a volume shown in liters and on x axis a time will be shown in second for Post vital capacity, you need to ask the patient to inspire deeply as much as possible, then clip the nose, hold the mouthpiece tightly and expire in the mouthpiece as deep as possible and then sustain that expiration. Once the expiration phase is over, ask the subject or patient to inspire from that mouthpiece only as deep and as long as possible. Now let us understand this on patient. There is a start button which you need to press once the patient start expiring air in the mouthpiece. After adequate explanation to the patient and adequate practice by the patient, we can perform the procedure. Now, the second procedure that is a slow vital capacity test in that you have to ask the patient to inspire and expire normally in the mouthpiece only. For two to three breaths, there will be tidal respiration followed by one deep respiration or you can say deep inspiration and expiration. Again, it is followed by two to three tidal respiration. Now next test is maximum voluntary ventilation test in that you have to ask the subject to inspire and expire deeply through mouthpiece for 15 seconds. Then you click on FVC, then click on result. So you will get all the parameters related to first vital capacity on the screen. 
then click on SVC and then click on Result. So you will get all the parameters related to slow vital capacity on the screen. And then you click on Maximum Voluntary Ventilation and click on Result. You will get all the parameters related to Maximum Voluntary Ventilation. Prep Clinic. Dream Beyond.